Hello folks, welcome to my new video. Today with Ready Player One, my steelbook collection. And as far as I know, uh, I have all of them. Uh, you can um, write me down in the comments below if I'm wrong. And uh, there are some other steelbooks that I missed. Um, please subscribe to my channel, that would help a lot. And activate the notification to not miss any new content. So, I have here uh, seven still books, uh, four are international ones that were released at different points of time, uh, the last one being uh, this uh, Japanese artwork um, edition that was released, I suppose, somewhat uh, last year, and three exclusive still books, one from, a little bit better known, from Titan's of cult yeah here and one from hd zeta and one from mental lab as far as i know there are no other uh exclusive steel books out there film arena used uh in international one in my opinion the ugliest international one for some reason and also there was uh this beautiful vhs fnac uh, fnac it's a french shop French edition, and they used uh, this international one. Yeah. So, let's begin to compare. Yeah, in my opinion, it's the, the ugliest one. I mean, it's not that bad. If you hold in your hand, it's uh, with reflections, it's, yeah, uh, well. But there are so many, so many beautiful artworks for Ready Player One, so it doesn't make any sense why to choose this particular artwork. Here's what's inside. With this beautiful artwork on the discs, of course. So, non artwork. Yeah, with the key and the egg. And here's the inner artwork. With this oasis grid that looks like 80s and this unnecessary text. That doesn't really make it worse because it's already ugly. <laughs> yeah, it's only my opinion. Let me down in the comments below if you think this still book is beautiful. Yeah, like the uh, this Deadpool 2 still book or this ugly pills still book of Matrix Resurrection. Yeah, well, I don't know what they are thinking. Yeah, all still books I also yeah like like I sh already showed you in my videos of my Watchmen still books or Aquaman one or Deadpool one and two or Tenet where I have all the possible still books. I also have all the possible still books of, as far as I know, of Crude. Uh, the Crudes two, because there are no still books, so I have all of them. So it wasn't released on a still book. So, here's another international one with three keys. It's really nice. It's it's not the best one, but it's really nice. With this matte finish and this reflect, uh, yeah, really looks really well. This, this green spine and this nice backside. They don't doesn't really match uh, the uh, the the front artwork. So here's what's inside. Again with this he he uh, ugly uh, disc covers, it's a 4K edition with a 4K and Blu-ray. And here's this flying artwork again with this unnecessary text. Yeah, wasn't wasn't that easy to get it. This one is nowadays really expensive for some reason. Now this one that I got with FNAC, F-N-A-C, I don't know how it's pronounced in French, a uh, shop from France, but it's an international still book. It's a, also really nice. I, I love this blue color. Yeah, not the best one, but really nice. I think the, the greed one is the worst. As I said before, Write me down in the comments below if you think that the grid still book is the beautiful one. Yeah, you can have it. The French uh, digital copy of the movie. And this is a really nice with 3D, Blu-ray and 4K. So, and here's this really nice inside artwork. 
pass it over the key and it's actually very yeah the same artwork as here but bigger yeah very nice I love this this violet yeah now to the uh, Japanese artwork steelbook again international steelbook that was released like five years after the release of the movie 2023 alongside rampage uh, Japanese artwork still book. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> Ready Player One and Rampage. Well, okay. Uh, and this one again, and also the Rampage still book that I don't have. This one is incredible, and wow, just just wow! It's one of my absolute favorite still books. It has similar artwork to the um, Mental Lab One Click box they have here. They showed in another video. As I said before, you can just just search uh, for Ready Player One my channel. I made an unboxing to to all my Ready Player One editions. Ah, uh, this with this partial gloss and this ah, uh, just just amazing. Not not simply plain. And yeah. So it's it's a good sign that they now make such beautiful international still books. This backside artwork with this roads. The dinosaur and uh uh DeLorean from Back to the Future. So much uh yeah, there's so so many details here. The uh motorcycle from Akira so the the well inside artwork is not that special but okay yeah here again 4k and blu-ray so and here again this artwork that also was used for the keys still book very nice now to uh, Titans of Cult Exclusive still book. And Dinos of Cult is, is famous for very creative uh, exclusive still books. Very nice. Um, not in this case. This is, I suppose, the ugliest Titans of Cult still book. I mean, it's somewhat better than this uh, this Creed still book, but it's it's again this Greed artwork. It's somewhat pale. It's doesn't well, it doesn't truly really look that good. The spine, extra life, very imaginative. Yeah, not really. Well, but the inner artwork is something different. Yeah, again, 4K and Blu-ray as usual for Titans of. So, and this is actually the inside artwork. The uh, Titans of Cult guys didn't, couldn't come up with anything different than this stuff. This is, the, well, it's, it's nearly as bad as if you completely uh, don't have any artwork at all. Because it's, well, it's, it's even worse than from the International Grid still book. I, I don't know what they were thinking. So this, yeah, Titans of Cult was rather disappointing. I mean, it's 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 nice that they made a Titans of Cult for Ready Player One, but well, I I don't get it. Um, so now to HTZ and Mental Lab both had exclusive still books that really used poster artwork, and in my opinion, that's uh, that's how the based still books are made. And those, both of them, are extremely beautiful. So this is an HDZ still book. It's just, just incredibly beautiful. It's so, it's so crisp. So colorful. Bah. I love it. Yeah, it's a, here's a 4K uh, disc only. Different uh, 
It shows that the editions have different still books. Well, the inner artwork is not that good. Again, the same artwork as in, in the Keys still book and in the Japanese artwork still book. So, and now to the Mental Lab still book. And this one is even debossed. Now that they just use uh, usual um, post artworks that were also used for the uh, MRA releases. There's a reason why MRA releases are often look better than the still books releases. And that's that's simply perfect. I don't get why they have to, to, to do draw some ugly artwork for exclusive still books. So and here's the inside artwork. With 3D and Blu-ray, yeah, it's it's really crisp. At least it's a uh, new artwork. I'm not a fan of it. I think there are more beautiful artworks. Those are uh, founders of Oasis, James Holiday and uh, Ogden Morrow, played by Simon Peck, with some unnecessary text. Yeah, nice. And here is, of course, the spine comparison of the still books. And you can see, you can actually see how similar they are, at least the first three. Well, also the fourth one. Uh, the first three are the first uh, international still books that were released. The fourth one with another Warner Brothers logo, with different Warner Brothers logo. It was changed in the meantime from 2023, this Japanese artwork. Here is <clears throat> a somewhat bigger artwork, the Titans of Cult. Yes, I suppose you, I hope you can see it. It's somewhat pale now. Titans of Cult exclusive still book. The HDZ still book. And the Mental Lab still book. They usually don't write their logos on the still books. In contrast, for example, to Titans of Cult or Nova Media. Here again are all the still books. So folks, let me know in the comments below which is your favorite of those still books. Well, even if it's this one or this one, it would be okay. It would be wrong, but it would be okay. <laughs> Well, just joking. Yeah. No, no uh, honestly, write me down in the comments below if you if you really like this kind of artwork or this kind of artwork or Deadpool 2 Stickman artwork or Pills uh, on the Matrix Resurrection artwork with the, with the only white background. Uh, yeah. Suppose there there are people, uh, folks out there that, that love minimalistic artwork. I, it's okay. So, uh <clears throat> Let me know in the comments below how did you like the Ready Player One movie and um, did you already, are you already looking for the Ready Player Two, the sequel, based on the on the sequel book. So I don't know if, if Steven Spielberg again uh, is going to direct. Uh, I suppose it won't come out before 2026 or something. Just hope. Well, it will come out. It will be good. Please subscribe to my channel, uh, leave a thumb up, till the next time, bye bye.